Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my daughter Mariana's nursery tour. So when you first walk in, let me just give you a quick span of the room. To the right here is um, the Mama Roo, and I actually got this for my baby shower. Uh, my daughter's a month and a half old, and she barely started using this frequently, so I'm glad she's getting some use out of it. Um, the insert here is actually not a Mamaroo brand, it's the Boppy brand, and it's a car seat insert, but I bought it because I liked how it matched the room better than the Mamaroo brand, which is like these primary bright colors, so it fits pretty good in there. Then right next to it is the crib, and this crib is from Babies R Us, and it's the Baby Atalia Parkland crib, and it was around $300, I believe. And above the crib are these these wall decals, and these are from Target, which I just seen them on sale. I'm not exactly sure how much they are, but they did go on sale. And in her crib are just a few stuffed animals, and we do take them out when she sleeps in here, which is not very often. But these are the little um, sound maker type ones from Cloud B. So this one makes sound, and it just came with this little one, and they're exclusive to Target. And then this is like a little Sophie stuffed animal giraffe. And then this is and like Eeyore that my mom had got me when she found out I was pregnant. Inside her crib is just these sheets that are from um, Pottery Barn Kids. And these are actually my first purchase when I found out I was pregnant. And before I found out she was a girl actually. This is a comforter. And this is from Target. And it came with the bed skirt, bed sheets and a blanket but it was yellow so it didn't really go with the room so I didn't use it but um, these were actually $70 but I did have a 15% coupon by using the uh, Cartwheel app so if you guys are shoppers at Target make sure you get that app because it's a way to save a lot of money. This glider rocker chair is from Target Online and pleasantly I was surprised that it came lighter than it looks online so I'm glad about that. Um, this is a boppy and it just has the cover I like that kind of matched her room. Um, this little pillow, the insert insides from Joann's and then my mom just made the slip cover to go over it. And then sitting on her rocker is just a little Hello Kitty which I collect Hello Kitty when I was little so I just got her first little ballerina one. And then on her wall above the rocker is just this shadow box and this shadow box just has the clothes she wore home from the hospital in um, and then just her hospital bands my hospital band and the little thing that had her name on it that was in her little bassinet at the hospital and then this is just a picture of her coming home from the hospital in it so yeah the shadow box itself was from Target and then the one above it was from AC and more which is just a craft store by my house and then moving on hopefully that light from that window doesn't bug you it's a little piggy bank and this piggy bank has a little tutu on it which her room was supposed to be ballerina thing when we first started it so I thought it was cute to get it but her room didn't really turn out that way and that's from Burlington Coat Factory and then this is just the bed that's in here and the reason why we have a bed is in here is because uh, my mom actually is going to come stay with me um, while I go back to work to take care of the baby and then also I like to use it um, when the baby's sleeping in her crib so it's really handy to have in here I think. Um, this blanket is from Target and it's from the kids section and it's just like the twin size one. Actually her whole bedding is from Target. Um, the sheets are the exhilaration brand and I also used a cartwheel app and I got them for like $17.99 I believe. And then the comforter is a twin comforter which I really like the pattern so I got it anyways although the bed is twin. Um, then I just pushed the sheets or the blanket all the way over there and it came with these pillows and like the little pillow shams. And then this is just a little mini mouse that my dad had got the baby when I was in the hospital. Okay, and then right next to the bed is my diaper bags, which the reason why I have two is I like to leave one in the car normally, but I have to refill it um, and then put it back in the car just for emergencies and stuff like that. And then this is actually the Juicy Couture 
I'm actually not sure the name, but I'll go ahead and put the link below. But I got it off eBay, and I don't think Juicy Couture has it on their site anymore. And the only places you could get is like eBay, Amazon, those types of places. And I did get it for a pretty good price, I think. For the quality it is, I feel like it was well worth the money. So if you guys are interested in a what's in my diaper bag, let me know in the comments below. Um, this one is just the coach diaper bag, and I got it from Marshalls. I didn't pay full price for that either. So then on top, this is her just her changing table. And this little basket, I'm not exactly sure where it's from because my aunt gave it to me. But in here it has just some lotion, nail clippers, boogie wipes, dustin cream, which I haven't used yet. Um, more lotion, some Honest Company healing balm. Um and a burp cloth and then also I have these pre-folds we don't do cloth diapering but I find them really handy to use on top of the changing pad when I change her so that if it gets dirty I just throw the the pre-folds in the wash and I don't need to keep changing out the changing pad because it is getting kind of uh, messed up from being washed so much um, this just has some baby q-tips in here and this is just a jar from Bath and Body Works that I emptied out the candle and then just put those in there. Um, there are some YouTube videos on how to do that. Um, this is just an M that I made. Uh, the wooden pieces, these two came separately in there from Michaels. And I, what I did is I just painted them and put them together. And then just hung a little piece of ribbon up there. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than the ones I saw on Etsy. So I, I made it for under like $15 by using the Michaels coupons. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, this dresser is from Ikea. I'm not exactly sure the name of it, but it came with some rustic hardware kind of knobs, and I changed them out for these um, kind of diamond type ones that I got from Home Depot. And then, I'm not going to go through her drawers, but if you guys would like to see how I organize them, um, just also leave a comment below so I can make a video for that if you'd like. And then this is just the Diaper Genie. And then these are closets, which I can make a tour of that as well when I do the dresser drawer one, if you'd like to see. And then right here is just where we I have a little command hook, and I hang like the stuff she's going to wear the next day or if we have a special event. But right now, we don't really have anything, so it's just her little chargers, little jumper that we got for her because my boyfriend's a big chargers fan. And then just two shelves that I got from Ikea, and... Also, the frames are from Ikea, and I put just some cards that I like that I got from her baby shower in there, and I thought that was pretty to decorate for now. And then just this Barbie that my boyfriend got me, and it was kind of like ballerina-ish, so I put it in here. Um, this is also a Bath & Body jarred candle that I had emptied out, and I just stuck a candlestick holder underneath. and. She doesn't really use any of these pacifiers, so I just put them in there for decoration. Uh, she only likes the mum ones, so. And then above that, it's just, I know this is kind of weird, but I have my uh, pregnancy test showing positive, and then just a invite that they had made for my baby shower at work. And these little belly slippers are from Bye Bye Baby. And this is just a Louisville slugger bat that we got her name put on. Um, because it was her first road trip when we went to see my sister when she had her baby in Kentucky. And then the, this is also another one of those wooden things, but I just painted it and I don't have anything in it yet. And a mirror from Target. So yeah, one last look over the room. And if you'd like to see anything else, just leave comments below and I'll go ahead and make those videos for you. Thank you.